Good day, ladies and gentlemen. Pastor James Reeves. I hope you're having a marvelous day. You know, when we talk about Christianity and we, we talk about agnosticism, you know, atheism, the various factions that are out there, the belief systems that are out there, surely are just enough to keep one's head going around in circles. You know, but I'm speaking to the Christians right now. Those people who proclaim to know Jesus Christ, who will, in a skinny second, profess Him to anybody and everyone, always ready to give an account of why they love the Lord. Amen? I know I am. But you know, not everybody's like that. There are Judas Iscariots out there, those people that are just like Judas. They hang with Christians and they have claimed to know Christianity, but at some point in their life, they've, they've fallen away. They've apostatized. They've, they have known the good of God and they've seen the miraculous of God. They've studied His Word and yet they have chosen the other way. I don't pretend to understand that, but they're there. They're in the midst of some churches right now. They're in your workplace. They're your next door neighbor sometimes. But that's that's beside the point. The thing about it is, yeah, it's not always easy to be a Christian for some people. Now, for me, I love it. I don't think I would know how to be any other way. I mean, I don't see myself as being so heavenly minded that I'm no earthly good. I don't see it that way. I see it as it is relatable to share God with everybody, the love of the master. But then again, you've got people who will take pot shots at anybody who believes in Jesus and says anything about him. I mean, we get those here, believe it or not, on this YouTube channel. We get people who say, that's stupid. You know, that's ridiculous. They make all kind of snide remarks, but you know what? That just helps me hone in the topics even better and to be more certain and to more refined about the approach. Because you see, Christ said to his, to us, he said, don't worry about it. He says, the world hated me, they're going to hate you too. But fear not, because I have overcome the world, and so will you. Folks, here's the deal. God Almighty sent his son to give his life for you and I, so that you and I do not have to swim in sin. We don't have to die and pay the penalty for sin, as in Romans 3.23 and 6.23, and explains the penalties of sin is death. Jesus provided the better way. You and I have hooked into that, and we are excited about it. For all the others, look, just pray for them and understand. They're going to be out there. They're going to be pointing fingers, and they're going to be slinging mud at you. But just smile. Say, you know what? I love the Lord, and I'm going to be praying for you regardless. You have a good day until I see you again at the point of time. This is Pastor Jim.